and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Most high, glorious God, you have said, Us and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it will be opened unto you. Filled with humility and gratitude, we bow before your sacred presence as, as completers of Batch 2020. As we look back to the years of hard work and toil, we remember how you faithfully joined us in our journey. Through our families, parents, our administrators, teachers, and friends, they have stayed by our sides, most especially in moments of success, and gave us strength in moments of downfall. They help us realize our fullest potentials and what we could still become. Father, taught our minds to treasure the knowledge we received during our years of stay with St. Anthony's College. Mold our hearts to leave the Franciscan values carved by our mentors and administrators. And power our whole being to inspire others to remain faithful to you. In short, our diplomas is not just a piece of paper intended as a proof of our past accomplishment, but a call to be a person of St. Anthony's College has formed us to be. A catalyst of change to help shape our nation's future in the long term. Make us conscious of the challenges of the present time and protect us from all harms as we continue our mission of building your reign in the hearts of every member of our community. We ask this through the intercession of Mary, Mother of God, and St. Anthony of Padua, our, our patron, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
from the grade 10 St. Anthony class for the school year 2019-2020. 17 males and 28 females with a total number of 45. Please accept them. Ms. Gloria Complete, may I present to you the candidates for completion from the grade 10 St. Clet class for the school year 2019-2020. 21 males and 26 females with the total number of 47. Please accept them. Ms. Glorian Poblete, may I present to you the candidates for completion from the grade 10 St. Peter class for the school year 2019-2020. 30 males and 13 females with a total number of 43. Please accept them. Sister Ellen S. Labrador FAS, PhD, the school president, I have the honor to present to you the grade 10 completers for the school year 2019-2020. 68 males and 67 females. They have satisfactorily completed all the academic requirements of the K-12 curriculum prescribed by the Department of Education. Accept and proclaim them our grade 10 completers. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Department of Education and the Franciscan Apostolic Sisters school system, I now declare you grade 10 completers of St. Anthony's College academic year 2019-2020. Congratulations. This task of introducing our guest speaker is a great honor. I know that this one is difficult, but the thought that she is a woman of virtue and simplicity, I feel elated to introduce her to everyone. After all, she is a living inspiration to everyone, most especially to the Antonians. If one takes a closer at the alchemy of the achieving person, two distinct virtues pop up. Besides perseverance and hard work, these are pioneering and willingness. Our guest speaker today is a living idiom of a woman who happened to be born at the right time, at the right place. She was born at Salala, Sultanate of Oman. Coupled with an expressive background, it was not therefore surprisingly that she became a successful person at young age. When asked about her, who she is may not be surprised. After all, she had become the person she is now because of the virtues and values that was developed and nurtured in her secondary education at St. Anthony's College. She is a proud Antonian at heart. She held several leadership positions in student organizations and was the recipient of numerous awards recognizing her leadership and accomplishments. She was the class valedictorian during her high school year and she received Father Jerry Filippetto OFM Award, Leadership Award, and Jerry Rojas Leadership Award. Keeping track of her academic performances, she was always been on top. Our guest speaker obtained Bachelor of Science in Nursing at University of Santo Tomas, España, Manila last March 2014. And she topped the nursing licensure examination in May 2014 as ninth placer. After passing the nursing licensure examination, she earned Doctor of Medicine major in neurosurgeon in the same university and luckily she passed the board exam in September 2019. Though an achiever, it didn't make her feet off the ground. Her achievements may be very noisy but she was a humble heart that makes her even more loved and appreciated. And now friends, ladies and gentlemen, I feel very proud to present to you Dr. Mary Elira Lorena R. Bilbao. 
To Sister Josephine P. Mata, FAS, Superior General. Sister Ellen S. Labrador, FAS, School President. Mrs. Elsa T. Balanay, Senior High School Academic Coordinator. Ms. Glory Ann S. Poblete, Junior High School Academic Coordinator. Mrs. Rema O. Dulap, Elementary Academic Coordinator. Teachers, benefactors, viewers, and parents. Good day, everyone. I don't know if I should greet you a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, so I hope good day will cover it all. It's very unfortunate that we couldn't be together physically today. I have been really looking forward to this day to come back to my or our beloved alma mater and meet you all and hopefully be able to inspire. However, I am truly grateful for the gift of technology that we can still celebrate your success while we stay safe and healthy in the comfort of our homes. Making this speech, I couldn't help but feel nostalgic. The most dominant fe feeling that I can remember was that I didn't want to leave. I want to stay with my high school friends forever. I believe I didn't really realize and absorb the significance of my own high school graduation because I was preoccupied with the heartache of leaving my friends. And I know most of you can relate to me. High school was one of the best times of our life, right? You see, I wasn't really the studious type. I think most of my teachers before could attest to that. I didn't have the habit of studying every night or every weekend or doing my projects and homeworks ahead of time. I was pretty easy-go-lucky. My parents raised me to have the freedom to manage my schedule, study on my own, and allowed me to go out with friends at times. My parents, well, my mom particularly, trusted me with the premise that I am responsible and will be accountable for my own actions. Because you see, she still expects me to have the highest grades or be at the top of the class. But I'm not telling this to you to brag or to say that it's okay not to study or not to be diligent in our studies. Because it is, trust me. I'll tell you later why. What I'm telling you now is that you have to want something so bad that it defies what you think are limits to what you could want in life and actually achieve and become. You know, you can be a student leader, a dancer, an athlete who loves basket basketball more than anything, or a gamer who play Mobile Legends or Dota passionately, yet still dream big and chase excellence. These are not limits, not limits for you to graduate with honors, to be a doctor, an engineer, or whatever you want. Because the truth is, there is no limit. The only limit is the one that you put on yourself. You can dream as high and bright as the Eiffel Tower, or as big as a galaxy, and no one could stop you if they dared. What matters is to have the same appetite for success as it is for life, and the wisdom to prioritize which comes first at a certain period of your life. I am grateful for my parents, for they have taught me three valuable things early on in life that became foundations of who I am today. First is to learn to prioritize. Second is being accountable for one's own actions. And third, is expecting only the best from yourself. I know how to have good fun and spending time with friends is very important to me. I was also active in different organizations since high school. But I also know that I have goals, so I know when to step back from all the fun and lock myself up in my room to study. Well, I think that's a good way of saying how I crammed my way out of high school. Thankfully, despite being a major in extracurricular activities and minor in Walay, I was able to graduate valedictorian and get a scholarship in U University of Santo Tomas College of Nursing, which was a whole different arena. 
You know, college was like a different world, our universe rather. I would commute from our house in Quezon City to UST for an hour and two to three hours back to our house because of traffic every day. Monday to Friday, sometimes even Saturdays. And I still need to do a lot of studying and tons of homework and research when I arrive home at night. And then wake up again before 5 a.m., take a bath and eat like a soldier, and leave the house at 5.30 to 5.45 to avoid rush hour. I struggled so hard because I was going against my natural tendencies. Waking up early, studying every day, oh man. Who I was in high school was in the past. I needed to build a habit of studying and waking up very early with three to four hours of sleep and be extra competitive in order not to be expelled. Because aside from maintaining my scholarship, I also needed to get a grade high enough to be safe from the quota where the bottom half will be removed and not proceed to second year. In college, my self-confidence was at bare minimum. More than half of my classmates are valedictorians, honor students, graduates from the biggest exclusive schools and science high schools. Ateneo de Manila, De La Salle University, Philippine Science High School, you name it. They were all very intelligent, confident, technology savvy, organized and studious. To most, English was their first language and I believe competitiveness was second. I was afraid to recite in class or voice out my opinions because I'm afraid they're gonna judge me if I was Baroque or my English was wrong grammar or if I said something wrong. I felt so small, like a small tiny fish in a big pond. Well, I was not cut off from the quota and managed to proceed to second year. However, I lost my scholarship. This is one of the reasons why I told you earlier that building a habit of studying very early on is very important. With perseverance, I was able to conquer a mountain. But with good habits built early on, I could have conquered another one and kept my scholarship. Thankfully, I am not a person who regrets or dwells in the past, especially when I know that I did my very best. That's why it's important that wherever you are and whatever you do in life, always give your 100% best all the time. Because when you do, you will steer clear from a life of regrets. I took full accountability in my shortcomings and kept swimming. Slowly, I gained my stride. But not fast enough for me to be a part of the dean's list and not hard enough for me to graduate with honors in college. I was not even sure if my grades were high enough for me to get accepted in the University of Santo Tomas Faculty of Medicine and Surgery, which was my dream school ever since I was a little kid because my mom and my uncle graduated from there. You see, while I was learning how to study the right way or how to study smart or what study style fits me? My batchmates are already mastering our lessons because they have figured out all that way, way before. While I was trying to find my voice, they have already spoken. While I was trying or learning to navigate the internet, they have already finished their research. Was I disappointed in myself? Yes. Was I struggling? Yes. Was I scared? Yes. Was I tired? Yes. Did I ever think of giving up? Definitely not. I know that as long as I hold on to my dreams and persevere, they will all come true. So, if you have been a diligent student since grade school or high school, congratulations. Keep it up because you have a very big advantage. Remember, hard work always beats talent. And if you're like me, who was pabanjing banjing before college, as what my mom describes me, it's okay. It's not too late. Habit can be built in days. And with perseverance and a passion that burns so brightly and warms your soul. After all, life is not a race. 
but a continuous process of growth and learning. Let me tell you a story. When I was in high school, I attended the graduation of my cousin, the daughter of my late Uncle Bobot, who graduated from the University of the Philippines with a double degree in business administration and accountancy, who finished not only magna cum laude, but also at the top of her graduating class. My mom kept crying during the whole ceremony because she was so proud. And then she told me, Tingnan mo anak, iba talaga kapag graduate ka with honors, kaya ikaw galingan mo. I always remember this moment, sometimes with sadness, because I wasn't able to make my mom as proud as that moment in my own college graduation. But I knew it wasn't too late. I knew what I had to do. We had two months to prepare for the nursing licensure examination after graduation, and I poured my heart and soul into it. My eyes were set on one thing and one thing alone. I lived and breathed books, notes, and reviewers. I literally slept on my notes and behind my notes and then brought my notes to the toilet and then filled the walls of my room with manila paper with even more notes. Even if they said that chances were slim and that I wouldn't make it, I still tried and I tried so hard. And with the grace of God, I was able to make it. I landed as a top-notcher in the 2014 nursing board exams and made my mom walk in a red carpet surrounded by applause in tears of joy and sheer pride for my success. And a few weeks after this, I also got accepted in UST Medicine. Yes, my family is my greatest motivation and inspiration in life. They are the driving force and reason for all this. And I will forever be working hard to make them proud and happy. So, if we are the same, I'll tell you now. Kaya ang kaya mo yan. You can reach your dreams for your family. With honest hard work and prayers, nothing really is impossible. No. I have the honor to present to you the candidates for Bolisai Binsdale J. Outstanding Performance in Sports, Loyalty Award. Costales Friends Jimwell A. Loyalty Award. De Jesus Frey R. Loyalty Award. Dishon J. Burn B. Loyalty Award. Esperanza Binsdale M. Loyalty Awardee Francisco Aris Jan D. Outstanding Performance in Arts Outstanding Performance in Sports Regional Leadership Training Participant Loyalty Awardee Garcia Cristino P. Loyalty Awardee Lagua Tyron M. Loyalty Awardee Malanao Jamie James P. Most Loyal Awardee. Munzon John Noel B. Loyalty Awardee. Recolizado Mark Jasper G. Special Recognition in Arts. Outstanding Performance in Sports. Most Loyal Awardee. Romeas Gertan M. Outstanding Performance in Sports, Loyalty Awarding. Sadam Austin J. B. Loyalty Awarding. Tapek Kevin Ray P. Loyalty Awarding. Udarbe Bill Richmond A. Outstanding Performance in Sports, Loyalty Awarding. Viernes Rogelio P. Loyalty Awarding Abara Janice L. With Honors Loyalty Awarding 
Aureliano Princess Karin S. With honors, loyalty awarding. Aitona J.B. Angela P. With honors, loyalty awarding. Aitona Jonali R. Loyalty awarding. Buckley Annabel D. Best in Conduct, loyalty awarding. Balete April Eunice T. With honors, Outstanding Performance in Science, Loyalty Awarding. Borja Glenimar O. With honors, Outstanding Performance in Sports, Loyalty Awarding. Casison Katrina Chelsea A. With honors, Loyalty Awarding. Dakuikui Obri B. With honors, Loyalty Awarding. De Los Santos Riza J. N. With honors, Loyalty Awarding. De La Cruz Marisol J. P. With honors, Loyalty Awarding. Garcia Shineros B. With honors, Outstanding Performance in Communication Arts, Mathematics, Best in Religion, Loyalty Awarding. Glorioso Micaela A. With honors, Outstanding Performance in Communication Arts, Loyalty Awarding. Gototos Christy C. Ibus Micaela Marie T. With honors, Outstanding Performance in Sports. Ladrido Alexa Marie L. With honors, Leadership Awarding. Best in Conduct, Most Loyal Awarding. Malampira Diana Vika B. Loyalty Awarding. Manaday Rachel Ann S. With honors, Loyalty Awarding. Maramag Camille Angeli B. With honors, Loyalty Awarding. Nicolas Angel Renoa B. M. Outstanding Performance in Arts, Loyalty Awarding. Pasqua Eva Shirley B. With honors, Outstanding Performance in Communication Arts, Loyalty Awarding. Pinus Althea B. E. With honors, Ravelo Jaceline T. With honors, Loyalty Awarding. Reconizado Stephanie C. With honors, Loyalty Awarding. Romero Noemi B. With honors, Loyalty Awarding. Valiasilio Myrin G. Loyalty Awarding. Viliasilio Trishalet O. With honors, Outstanding Performance in Arts, Outstanding Performance in Sports, Loyalty Awarding. Villarreal Faye Justin D. With Honors, Leadership Awarding. Outstanding Performance in Communication Arts, Science, Social Science, Sports, Loyalty Awarding. Congratulations and God bless. I have the honor to present to you the Grade 10 St. Colette Completers of the School Year 2019-2020. Antoline Mark Ryan G. Loyalty Awarding. Baldo Lawrence L. Loyalty Awarding. Baloloy Emil J. E. Outstanding Performance in Sports. Borja Marvin Loyalty Awarding Castillo Kurt Adrel P Outstanding Performance in Arts 
Debsman Erickson M. Loyalty Awardee. Edan Jasper O. Loyalty Awardee. Punisher Christian Cesar P. Loyalty Awardee. Harold John K. Ford C. Loyalty Awardee. Lanyo Ralph Aaron P. Loyalty Awardee. Martin John Aldrich A. Loyalty Awardee. Mata Paul Derek B. Loyalty Awardee. Molabe Jean Tracery R. Loyalty Awardee. Pohante Ivan Hero R. Ravina Dexter C. Loyalty Awardee. Ragpa Alan Joy Jr. O. Loyalty Awardee. Luis John Kenneth C. Santos Gabriel Gerardo Nicanor B. Loyalty Awardee. Serrano Wilfred D. Loyalty Awardee. Vicente Christian J. Loyalty Awardee. Yahin Christian Dave A. Loyalty Awardee. Agkawili Marian Nubia Dale A. Loyalty Awardee. Arbatan Altea Lorraine R. Most Loyal Awardee. Bangani Crystal J. A. Loyalty Awardee. Braceros Sheila Rica A. Loyalty Awardee. Campo Janice T. Loyalty Awardee. Pocacurba Princess May O. Loyalty Awardee. Pocacurba Quinzel O. Loyalty Awardee. Gustales Rochelle V. With Honors. Loyalty Awardee. Tasigan Mary Jane C. Loyalty Awardee. De Los Reyes Jane Shire B. Loyalty Awardee. Coranda Dexel May A. Loyalty Awardee. Francia Rufumel A. Loyalty Awardee. Coranda Janelle C. Loyalty Awardee. Genova Julina M. With Honors. Loyalty Awardee. Miranda Lyra C. Loyalty Awardee. Gera Shaina Jubel B. Most Loyal Awardee. Palatao Nika Jane E. Loyalty Awardee. Gabor Princess Kate C. Loyalty Awardee. Reintegrado Annabelle A. Loyalty Awardee. Gabilios Princess Alexis S. Salapunen Jubet B. Loyalty Awardee Simone Altea Joyce With Honors Loyalty Awardee Soriano Jenimar B Loyalty Awardee Lena Will Ann Lorraine U Loyalty Awardee Villanueva Dashina Joy B Loyalty Awardee Miloria Lovely May P. Best in Conduct and Loyalty Awardee. Thank you and congratulations, completers. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the candidates for completion from the St. Peter class for the school year 2018-2020. Abon John Smith G. Best in Conduct, Most Loyalty Awardee. Aguirre John Lloyd P. Outstanding Performance in Sports, Loyalty Awardee. 
Albindo Bambi M. Moss Loyal Award. Antolin Raymark S. Loyalty Award. Antonio Mark Kevin C. Loyalty Award. Arukan Joel U. Loyalty Award. Cabarles Sunboy Jr. I. Loyalty Award. Cabezas Oliver L. Loyalty Award. Cabildo Ed Jenny A. Loyalty Award. Kabutina Ken O. Loyalty Award. De Guzman Rodel A. Loyalty Award. De Jesus Christian L. Loyalty Award. Inay John Michael T. Loyalty Award. Ladarana Christian Emil John M. Special Recognition in Arts. Most Loyal Award. Miguel Francis Aaron C. Loyalty Award. Peralta Leandro A. Loyalty Award. Ramos Dave B. Loyalty Award. Reyolalas Janrick C. Loyalty Award. Sabado Mark Joshua T. Loyalty Award. Sacramento Kirk I. Special Recognition in Arts, Outstanding Performance in Sports, Loyalty Award. Sacramento Erickson S. Most Loyal Award. Sanidad Ruel A. Loyalty Award. Serrano Christian Joshua M. Loyalty Award. Tabukol Kenneth A. Loyalty Award. Takazon Mark Lewis G. Outstanding Performance in His Arts, Special Recognition in Arts, Most Loyalty Award. Takazon Carlos Julian, Special Recognition in Arts, Loyalty Award. Tagala Alfred O. Loyalty Award. Tamundong Emerlito Jr. Unday Jan Ali T. Loyalty Award. Vicente John Mark C. Loyalty Award. Otris Jaina B. G. Loyalty Award. Bangani Shailin Gail A. Loyalty Award. Contreras Jennifer R. Loyalty Award. Dapuikuya Maria Erika E. Loyalty Award. Dasigan Mary Joy C. Loyalty Award. Dimasapit Jenairi Keisha. Loyalty Award. Francisco Darinay T. Loyalty Award. Gonzalez Amayla Andrea. Most Loyal Award. Hidalgo Christine Miles. Outstanding Performance in Sports. Most Loyal Award. Molina Jerica May, Loyalty Award. Salvador Maria Nelly Q, Loyalty Award. Tapawan Andrea Marie, Loyalty Award. Tero Keisha Nicole R, Loyalty Award. God bless and congratulations.
katawanan hanggang sa pagtulo ng mga luha sa mahang walang iwanan yan ang tunay na magkakaibigan ngunit ngayon di na mag-iba na malalayo na sa isa't isa sana'y lagi natin tatanda Masasayang araw sa buhay ko